Let's talk about the iPhone 14 and the iPhone 13. So last year, Apple launched iPhone 13 Pro with a Bionic A15 with 5 core GPU, and the regular models had a 15 Bionic 4 core GPUs. So there was a one core difference between the Pro and the regular model. So Apple launched the iPhone 14 with the processor of the Pro series A15 Bionic 5 core GPU on the 2022 on iPhone 14. When we compared to the iPhone 14 and iPhone 13 benchmarks, there were no major improvements. While comparing the both, we don't have many differences except from the chipset and larger aperture in the front camera. So why Apple did this? There were two reasons. One, for higher profits, they choose to upgrade more things on the Pro series. While selling the more Pro series, they will have a huge profits. This is because iPhone 11 and 12 had been sold in the top five. So Apple wants to change and make to sell Pro series is better than the regular series. And second thing is there is no major upgrade needed for a smartphone for daily users as per the normal consumers. So Apple did not change anything on the smartphone. So why this is feels bad is because of the pricing of the iPhone 14 which is $799 for a 60 hz panel. When we compare to the $500 to $800 smartphones, we can see Android as the best smartphones giving up to the Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 at higher refresh rates with higher capacity batteries. Apple will always go for the Pro chipset in the next year of the regular iPhones. So they are creating a gap between iPhone regular and the Pro series. And many Android phones are already have done it like the Motorola launched Triple Eight Plus in 2022 which is a one year old chipset. Thanks for watching. I will catch you in the next one. Until then peace.